What's up? How can I help you out? Deals on the contract. Okay. Since since uh, January, I started cold calling. And I finally got rid of my fear of cold calling. I've been doing it, hammering it out. About two weeks ago, I've gotten I had gotten three deals under contract in a row. So the reason for my call now is that these past two weeks, I've been hammering out calling cash buyers and I just can't seem to be getting a bite. So I'm just trying to figure out how I could go ahead and increase that. I've, I've gone to the different auctions. I was actually just at an auction on Friday and I've communicated with a lot of cash buyers. They're just not interested. They didn't tell me that it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad deal. They just weren't interested. Okay. Well, there's only one thing we can do, man. Um, what city is this in? So I'm in the Indiana Lake County area. The specific cities is uh, East Chicago. That's for all three D. Okay, not bad. So, I mean, this is, I, I don't complicate this, man. Did you call all the four rents in that zip code? Uh, not all of them. I've called about, the, the it was like about 128 or something like that for the four rents. And I called about just, just a little below half that. I know okay. it's not a lot. I, what, what I've been doing was I've kind of been mixing it up between the, Pe- the people that I've connected with at the auctions and the uh, prop stream. I've been doing that a lot. Okay. What is the air view on that property? Uh, 150. Okay. Would you say that that area is big on rentals or is it more of a residential community? More rentals. They're definitely more rentals. Okay. So I would lean on finding more rental cash buyers than flipper cash buyers right now. If that's the area and you just got cold, cold call the four rents in that area, man. Um, you know, cash sales don't hurt either, dude. Uh, have you called your title company yet? I've called the title company that I'm going to be working with. I've called them and I've, I've asked them, but they just said, no, that they're not at exposure to release any other buyers. So I said, okay. Oh, okay. Did you ask them if they have any cash buyers to let them know that you have some deals under contract? No, I did not. See, I would do that instead because sometimes they don't want to disclose it. Just mention to them. And uh, some some title companies actually be nice to you and do it. Some won't, obviously. Um, but on top of that, too, I would call the four rents, and I would also add to call the realtors on the four rents and explain you're a wholesaler. But that could get risky too. It just depends how desperate you are in getting getting rid of this deal. But I would add more of the four rents. If there's more rentals in that area, I would mm-hmm. increase the four rents and less on the prop stream type leads. Okay, because like the like I said, I had three deals. So two of the deals, it's not. I don't want to see on the back burner, but I'm, it's not pressed. The one deal I've been trying to get at it because the, the the seller he wanted to get it done in two weeks, so I'll, I was been trying to get it done in two weeks. But and so this is the last week, so I'm trying to you know trying to find a cash buyer or even JV and it with somebody. I, I know you do JVs. I don't know how I could go ahead and send that information out to you if if that's a possibility. Um, trying to think of Indiana. Um, hmm. I gotta talk to some. I I I don't have. Um, some of my paper for Indiana right now in the okay. Illinois region, but I can get you probably in contact with someone I know that I just do it for free. I don't really care. I don't make money because I don't have anyone there. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I could probably try that. Marco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that's probably what I can try to do. But okay. honestly, man, like I'm pretty simple with this. The reason why I want you to get some cash buyers right now is because once you get some cash buyers, dude, all you literally have to do is go to that cash buyer and say, hey, why don't you want to buy this deal? It's too high, right? I want to figure out if you haven't talked to enough cash buyers or that you just have it locked up for too high. It's something, man. Like, bro, if I could make like a really good ROI on this deal, I would buy it myself. So like, I like buying rentals, right? So like I'm a cash buyer too. And I don't want to buy in Indiana right now, dude. But like, if it's a good enough deal, I'm just going to buy it. And so if I would do it, someone locally would want to buy it. So I'm just trying to figure out if you have it locked up for too high or even talk to enough cash buyers. My honest opinion is, do you believe you had it for a good price? I honestly do, yes. Okay, so you probably just haven't uh, talked to enough buyers, man. Yeah, I I, I think so. I mean, I, I, all together, is, and I even put it on the Facebook market, you know, in different groups and stuff. And I've gotten people that were interested in it, and then they would say, yeah, you know, they'll send, they'll send it to me. with, And, I, and I'll send it without the address. I'll send pictures. I'll send a, a detailed um, description of what's going on with the property because it does need it doesn't need work. I've estimated about 30 K in repair, but there's still, there's still, it's still, you can still make a good, um, it's still good for it as an investment. So, yeah. but I would just never get, I'll never get anything back. I'll send them, you know, Hey, this is what's going on, blah, blah, blah. And I wouldn't receive anything back. I would go ahead and reach up back out to them. Hey, you know, what do you, what is it that you think, or what is it that you don't like? Just let me know, no feedback. And so that's, that's kind of what I've been dealing with.
I mean, honestly, at this point, we need to save the deal, bro. We're gonna have to bring the R the, the R word in here, man. We're gonna bring some realtors, dude. Some wholesaler friendly ones. Uh, the reason the reason for this, man, is because if a wholesaler, um, you, you can't get any like. So if I could look at a realtor, right, bro? The realtor is listing a rental, and they're doing it for a rich landlord that just ah, you know, just list it. They're getting like maybe a month of the rent, like a thousand bucks to do all this stupid work. If I get 3% of an assignment, like if I get like four or five grand for bringing a cash buyer to the Marco here, that's like four or five of this listing. That's a lot more money. And like I told you before, man, what do realtors only care about? They just care about their 6%. <laughs> care about money, bro. Money yeah. talk. So if they can make a good amount of money bringing that uh, an off market rental secret deal, it's amazing. And dude, how many realtors are in that area? Find the rental realtors, which have it listed. So let me give you a quick website. This is a really cool one. It's called Coldwell Banker. Uh, Coldwell Banker, I found probably one of the best ones for on-market realtor rentals. I don't know why this is personally what I found. So go to Coldwell Banker, Banker Space County Rental Properties. And it'll give me all the MLS listed rental property. And you're just gonna be calling all day. Call, 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 call those realtors up. And they'll tell you very fast. And uh, that's probably gonna be the best way, bro. Okay. All right. That's okay. Coldwell I, Banker. I that's my secret realtor um, cash buyer strategy. I don't talk about too much, but dude, I dude, you did the work to get the contract, so we got this thing sold, man. I know, man. I'm I'm, I'm excited, and I'm like this this close to like make, making my first deal. So I just want to get the ball rolling, and I believe yeah. you have a good. I believe you have a good deal, and so since I believe in it. You have, you have a lot of confidence that you had it locked up for the right price. Sometimes it might be wrong. I don't know. But what I can tell you is let's just do that first. Let's talk to the realtors, man, because they're pretty okay. cold-blooded. They just want money. Okay, you know, my cash buyer can rent it out for this. Okay, that works, right? It should be better than an MLS property. So do that and figure it out and then um, start calling tomorrow, man. There's going to be a lot of – and do all the whole city. Do the whole city. Okay, I will. I'll definitely it do should that. should be like 150 man. listings, man. Yeah, and then tomorrow I was even, I'm even planning on going to another real estate group a real estate investment investing group meeting tomorrow. So I was going to go ahead and, you know, try to market there. What so I'm going there, but I don't really know what to ask any of the individuals there that attend these meetings. Like I went to the auctions and then, you know, I networked a little bit, but kind of like nervously, like, Hey, you know, this is my first time, like what's going on stuff like that. But I didn't know what, what were the right questions to ask. So coming into this meeting tomorrow, like what's some good questions that I could come up with to ask these uh, individuals? Uh, say that one more time. Uh, tomorrow individual? I'm going to spend. It's a real so you're going to a RIA uh, tomorrow, right? What's that? You're going to a RIA tomorrow, right? Yeah. So uh, say that one more time. Sorry. Like what are some good questions to, to ask these investors and like to, to really connect with them more without saying like what they need? Figure out what they're struggling with, bro. Okay. And then try to see how you can fill that need. Struggle, feel the need. Okay. That's it. So what's your struggle? You know, you can't find a deal. Um, I, I can't, I can't sell my deal. They're going to want JV with you. Right. You just gotta be careful who you JV with. Okay. That's it. All right. Okay. That sounds good with me then. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. All right. Man. So let's prospect start line, dude. So what, what, what's the line we're going to do with the realtors? Sure. I, I'm out here pretty on the spot. Let me, let me help you out. Okay. So I just want you to make sure you have everything you need for this. Right. Yes. Okay. Hey, Mr. Seller. All right. Like, so, we're talking to a seller, right? You know, we're trying oh, to lock up a deal, right? Like we know, we know that whole process, right? When you talk to a seller, what is our point? We're looking to buy your property for cash, right? When yeah. you talk to a cash buyer, let them know that I have a deal under contract and I'm looking to sell my equitable interest. With a realtor, it's a little different when it's a um, rental property, right? And so it's yeah. like, hey, I see you have this property listed here, right? Are you the realtor listing it, right? Yes, okay. Hey, Mr. Realtor, I'm actually a wholesaler and I have a deal locked up that's a great rental property. I was seeing if there's any realtors in the area that work with cash buyers that are investors, and I would love to see if you would like to talk to them about them maybe purchasing my contract in the deal. Obviously, I'd like to get you paid on this. That's pretty much it. It's kind of a lot to say, but unfortunately, realtors need that, and you got to include that they're getting paid on it. Yeah, okay. And should I also mess, like let them know that this is kind of like a time sensitive deal. Uh, you can't push them on urgency too much. They, they know that game. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. That's, that's what I figured too. Okay. Yeah. So you tell me I'm the realtor. Hello. 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 You, you tell me you can, you convince me. Okay. Hello, Mr. Realtor. Is this the, is, or is this the realtor for one, two, three main street? Yeah. The, this is my property. Hi, my name is Marco. Um, I actually a wholesaler. And I have 
a couple of deals that I have under contract that I'm looking to sell over to a cash buyer. I wanted to see if you have any cash buyers on your list who are interested in, in rental properties. Wait, so wait, wait, say that. What are you trying to do, Marco? What are you looking to buy houses? No, I'm looking to sell to sell. Sell what? A, a pro you're looking to sell a house. I, I can, I can list it for you. Okay. Okay. I'm getting hang. I'm I can getting list your house for you. <laughs> no, see that, that unfortunately realtors, yeah. they, they're like list listing side, buy side, listing side, buy side, listing side, yeah. Buy side, like they don't know anything else, and so when you tell us something that's not in their little zone of influence, but what you want to list it, huh? Right? They only know these two things. No, I'm looking to sell my equitable interest in a deal. I'm looking to wholesale it. I was seeing if you know anybody that's looking to buy more rental properties, I'd love to give you some money for bringing the buyer to me and let them know a commission on it. Buyer's commission. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to kind of not rehearse it, but I'm gonna have to. No, you gotta practice it a little bit because yeah. sometimes you're gonna throw it off, man. Um, yeah. Let me tell you this. I actually had a live cold call for an hour and a half, two hours of me just cold calling cash buyers that are realtors. I talked to a lot of them. Um, I think it was really good. You might have to skip through some of the highlights of me calling and doing everything, but most realtors understand it if you can explain it very slowly that I'm looking to sell a, my deal. In a property, I'm looking to wholesale it, and you want to find somebody that understands what that is. And you should be good. Okay, Zach. All right, I'll make sure I'll just do that tomorrow. All right, and make sure they get a commission for doing it. Make sure they want because if they if they can't make money, they're not going to care about you at all. Yeah, like with for example, for this the the first deal, it the for the price that I have it locked up at, and for what I could be selling it for, it's about a 15 fifteen k um, wholesale. So Dude. that should be. That's plenty for me to give out. I don't, I, I'm not going to be greedy or stingy. <laughs> Dude, get calling. Yeah, I will. All right, All right bro. Man, you, I believe you, man. Man, you're killing these gurus out here, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to help you out, man. Like, I, I, I truly believe. So go to my uh, Instagram. Not my Instagram, my uh, YouTube, and just go through the live streams. I should have one of me live cold calling realtors, and okay. it should be the best one. Listen to it. Maybe you're working out or something in the morning, whatever you're doing. Um, that's going to be the best one for you. And just skip through until I actually have conversations and explain what I say. I'm not perfect, dude, because realtors throw me off. I'm not used to them. I'm used to sellers, but I, I can get through it. You know, so if you if you're 50 percent of that, you're gonna, you're going to sell that deal easy. Okay, man. Thank you so much. You're a beast. You're killing it out here. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Okay, bye.